Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday. Feels like a Monday, but it's a Tuesday. Um, 21 Jan. MLK Day yesterday. Not too much going on. Had a little bit of a sort of mini vol in, in Sterling. Um, but... Uh, not too much to talk about today. Yeah, things get going a little bit more um, normally. We've had some news overnight or a little bit of risk off overnight. Everyone's sort of attributing it to um, this virus going on in um, China. I won't. I'll kill. I'll kill the pronunciation coronavirus, I don't know what the hell it is, um, we've seen this before, uh, with the spread of, um, disease quickly unchecked causes risk off, equities down 14, 14 handles, now we're, this chart's a little bit delayed, we're at 13, 11, 33, 11, um, new daily low here, so after a bunch of highs, this thing really, you know, this could easily get down to uh, 3296 area, where then it becomes probably more tradable as a short. Um, so if you have been selling high ones at a good average, be a little bit more cautious buying them back today. Uh, so now we have a little bit of a, a story that helps. It's not only just overbought, insane, blah, blah, blah. There's actually some negative story out here. So risk off to start the day. Uh, this Aussie chart is on a lot of people's minds. 68.50 has held one, two, three, four times. Uh, we've been 53 today. Now we're at 63. Looks to me like this is um, this this will break today. I'm not really expecting like some um, crazy waterfall in price action. I don't think the market is long Aussie. Um, there will be some people getting short Aussie, but for a good break trade, you need both people stopping out and people taking that position um, at the same time. So this doesn't really fit. This doesn't really fit into. Um, this doesn't fit into that. So anyway, 6850 is important. A close below there should open up some downside, but we're not expecting uh, break trade type price action. Dollar yen's come off here, been down to 89. We all know that everyone got long through 70 uh, last Monday, so that's now eight days ago. So there will be some stops below 70. Don't know what to do with dollar yen, uh, as everyone knows. We're short Swiss yen here. Uh, we're out of our dollar yen. Got out a bit early there. Um, anyway, there will be some risk below 109.70. Whether you need to pick this up on a dip, I don't know. Um, dollar yen's perplexing. The chart was very powerful top side, but then local offers capped it. Uh, the BOJ did nothing overnight, by the way, so um, not too much to talk about there. Uh, slipping off dollar yen, which is pretty standard for risk off. Swiss yen, as you can see here, our target on this is uh, 112.50 or 112.57, so anywhere in that 112.50 to 70 area. Your yen also broke. Um, this 122.08, which was a sort of a little hourly level that was dancing there yesterday. I guess we traded 03 briefly late in New York, up to 25, bang. Um, market's long euro yen. I'd be careful with this one if you're long. Uh, unlike dollar yen, um, I guess market's pretty long dollar yen as well, but market's long euro yen. This is probably a sell-on rally today. Um, let's see how that goes. Sterling, we've got uh, our average 
weekly earnings today, unemployment rates. Um, so we got some sterling news today. We also have Zoo today for that Euro Yen. If you're short Euro Yen, be careful, we have Zoo today. Um, we're bearish sterling after the, after the retail sales at this bar here. We really don't think this is going to get back above 130.64. We trade this on the left hand side until Friday and then we see where price is and make a decision on how we're going to trade um, the economic releases coming on Friday uh, that are going to be very telling according to market participants. And it's kind of funny, right? Like whether PMIs are telling or not, it doesn't really matter. Everyone in the market's geared up for Friday. Um, for the Friday sterling releases and this will be the gauge and whether the world thinks the BOE is going to move or not so whether you believe it or not that these are important um, you should probably just get on board with the fact that everyone believes it's important so therefore it's important uh, welcome welcome to trading dollars are up through 50 we talked about this uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of a quick move yesterday at the open from 47 up to 55 caught us a little bit off guard I have to say uh, we did nip in and buy some on the dip there uh, but we have a tiny little position it was just actually poorly done um, we were our head was in the mountains we were thinking about uh, the ski day and so we missed the break up the first time. You can see it on the hourlies here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, this bar here was right at the open yesterday. Very clean. Um, all the way up to 57. Uh, but then as, as dollar czar is prone to do, back down to about 47. Now we're at 54 and we're risk off and we're above 50. Uh, if you do own this, which I would argue not many people own, um, this probably can run a bit now. Uh, we're looking for prices back up to 80. Um, and, you know, God knows what dollars are. Just waiting for the... Waiting for the news, right? Is there, any, is there ever any good news out of South Africa? I don't know. Um... Quickly, Euro Sterling, not much going on there. A little push and pull here. Uh, we do think this um, 86th figure or 85.90, we draw this every day. This is um, a level that we think is going to attract a lot of interest. So, a uh, little bit of a pre long, I'm not sure is appropriate, but there will be some action here. 8589. Everyone's going to see this as an inverse head and shoulders. Um, and that will be traded by the flock. Gold's higher, still in the middle of nowhere, nothing to do with gold. Aussie Yen's the big loser today. Keep an eye on Aussie Yen um, just as a risk proxy. Nothing to do here. You don't want to chase this. If you want to play the Aussie, 6850. Um, is your horse dollar Swiss we're long a little bit less conviction here with this risk off but we're still long um, we've got a good average now will this consolidate there should be support at 40 uh, if you want to range trade this today which is sort of how the market is these days everything is kind of a range trade um, you can probably sell some of this stuff in the 90s buy some of it in the 40s uh, avoid trading in the middle here in the 70s so we'll see how that goes uh, as far as the US uh, we do have Davos going on raise your hand if you hate Davos um, what a fucking idiot cluster of idiots that is paying 30 grand a night for a hotel room to jerk off with a bunch of other like-minded jerk-offs um, 
We got news out of Davos, perhaps. We got unemployment out of Mexico today. For those of you who are screwing around in the Mex, we don't have a view there. Um, and then we really don't have anything out of the U.S. now that I'm looking at it. So you might hear um, some davos -y stuff. I guess trump going to be speaking. Um, but, you know, who really cares? He's just going to... He's just going to blather on. I don't know. I don't know what he could say. Uh, so the focus really is, is on the European morning here. You got some UK numbers. We got Zoo. And we're keeping our eye on the stock market just because um, we haven't had a down day, a proper down day, um, since this here where it closed on the lows. December 2nd was the last time we had a low close in the Dow or in the S&Ps. So are we going to close this thing at the lows, or are we going to do a, a January 8th where we're going to have a big tail and back higher? Watching this closely. All right, folks. Um, don't forget, if you like this, uh, these videos, you know, click these buttons, these thumbs up. And uh, also, if you have any questions, direct questions, or if you want us to go over any charts or currency pairs, go ahead and uh, ask. Uh, we're pretty flexible with that kind of stuff and uh, subscribe to uh, the YouTube channel so that um, the guy in Ireland will get off my ass and keep telling me that I, uh, I'm a failure on YouTube because I only have 27 people who follow me. Anyway, enough of that. Good luck out there, people. We'll talk to you tomorrow.